up and ask for prayer, how that she talked about that if, if it wasn't for the Lord, that she, had, she hadn't let the Lord have His way in her life, she wouldn't have been here this morning. She, she would have stayed home. And, and, but she listened to that and she's glad she's here. And, and, um, and we, we've, all, we've all been like that. And, and I, uh, I, I have to admit, I was like that this morning. And um, and Sharon got up and got in the shower, and I thought, well, if I don't get up, they're going to go on without me, so I guess I better get up and go, too. And so, you know, it's a lot easier sometimes that the... Now, this is what the devil does, brother. Chad, he puts all these excuses in your head. Yes. You, you've done this, you've done that, you, you, you worked, and you've done that, and you've been there, and you've done... went here, and... You got to do this next weekend, and you got to do that the weekend after, and you can just stay at home and rest. Yeah. And I don't know why, but I thought someone had told me that Brother Clyde Bentley would be here today, and the old devil even told me you don't need to go. Brother Clyde will be there, and 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 he he he's uh, plenty enough preaching and good preaching, and you don't need their they don't need your help this Sunday. And uh, Brother Paul, that's the way the devil works. Yes, amen. Uh, and uh, um, but my thought was and my desire that. First off, you know, this is home, and, 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 you, and you miss, I, you know, I go to a lot of places and a lot of different churches, but um, Brother uh, um, Chad and, 
And I've always seemed like I've had a habit of, of preaching and, and uh, uh, churches and things, and very few seldom times will you ever see me take my coat off. I just don't, I don't feel at ease sometimes. Uh, but brother uh, Paul, it's, it's like when you're at home today, you, you feel at ease. You take your shoes off at home, don't you? Uh, sometimes you might even take your socks off and go barefooted. And, uh, um, and sometimes you just feel that freedom that you're at home. And, and, and today, I almost didn't even wear a tie today, Brother Fred. Just thought, well, I just wear a war suit and tie every day this week. And, and, but if I'd been going anywhere else, it wouldn't have been a question. Uh, but here, I could have came and been coming. Now, somebody says, what's he talking all that hog water for uh, uh, today? I'm going to get to something in a minute and just pray for me. And I, I hope you'll pray and, and that God will bless me. But, uh, um, you know, today, um, as, I, as I began to think when he said to draw nigh unto God, and he'll draw nigh unto you, uh, Today, He's as close as you want Him to be in your life. He's as close as you want Him to be. Uh, somebody said, well, preacher, I want, him, I want Him just as close as I can get him. I want him. I want Him to wrap His arms around me. Will He do that? Yes, He will. Yes, He will. Will He, will he take me in and, and let me see and let me feel uh, that everything's all right? Will He do that? He will today, but you, you have to want Him to today. You see what I'm saying? Today, friend, you have to want Him to. Uh, listen today. Uh, so then, and somebody said, well, what was you talking about taking your shoes off and your coat off and, and things of that nature for? Uh, today, there was a man one time that uh, today lives somewhere, and he lives somewhere that a lot of us wouldn't live uh, uh, today. Uh, Brother Paul, he lived, he lived today the Bible said, among the tombs of the dead. Uh, listen today. Among the tombs of the dead. What we call today a cemetery. Uh, is that not right for the hymn? Uh, listen today. But he lived there uh, today. He lived in a tomb uh, uh, today. I don't know, Brother Fred, uh, but I want to believe that if he lived in a tomb, uh, that there had to be someone's carcass laying over there. Uh, there had to be someone's body laying there uh, today. Uh, because he lived in the tombs of the dead, the Bible said. Uh, listen, and Jesus, the Bible said, by and by, uh, came into a city to visit it. Uh, listen, and when he got there, uh, uh, the people of that town, uh, and that cemetery set uh, uh, just off from the town, uh, and, and listen, and people only went there uh, when they had to bury their loved ones. Uh, uh, when they would go, they would see this man there. Uh, and listen, what they called him. Uh, they called him a lunatic. Uh, listen, uh, they called him him a lunatic because uh, uh, Brother Paul, uh, uh, people saw him cut himself. Uh, uh, listen, uh, today uh, they saw him do those things uh, just to try uh, uh, to scare them. Uh, uh, listen, to keep him, uh, uh, to keep them away from him. Uh, and, and they knew that something was wrong with that man. Uh, uh, listen, today, uh, uh, what was wrong with him? Uh, uh, today, somebody said, well, uh, uh, listen, he was mental. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, let me tell you something, Brother Fred. You was a lunatic one time, and so was I. And we lived among the tombs of the dead one time. Listen, just as that man did. You say, preacher, I've lived where I've lived all my life. What are you talking about? I'm talking about spiritually so. I'm talking about how, listen, your life was empty. Listen, you see, what do we take to the cemetery when we take it there? We take an empty vessel, don't we? Listen, we don't take the man uh, that you see before you uh, walking around. Uh, we don't take the man uh, that you see uh, this time uh, today uh, uh, driving the car. Uh, but we take uh, an empty house off the great hall. Uh, the soul uh, listen, today, and we take and we place them there. Uh, listen, we place them away from us. The Bible told us how. Uh, listen, to put the dead out of our sight. Uh, listen, today, uh, uh, listen, we take them and we bury them, uh, or we cremate them. Uh, listen, today, but uh, listen, uh, the Bible said, uh, pray, pray hard. Uh, listen, God, uh, listen, uh, uh, Brother Paul, don't let me stand long. Uh, the sun, uh, the day, uh, oh, but 
here's what he said. A light then, he said, of his son, a horn, he's a lunatic up there, he's living among the tombs of the dead. And we were all dead one time, we were empty, a living tomb, how was we empty? In our house, and uh, again, that's why he said, uh, When the Lord comes in, uh, you're not your own keeper anymore, uh, but you're kept by a uh, walk by the power of God. Uh, listen, uh, again, uh, listen, but uh, he was living there among the tombs of the dead. Oh, and there was an empty spot uh, there. Uh, listen, in his mind, uh, listen, uh, day friend uh, of Jesus and uh, uh, Jesus quickly. Uh, the Bible said, uh, make hasten uh, to go and see this young man, uh, the son. And when he got there, uh, listen, uh, today, uh, you imagine I wasn't there. I didn't see, uh, but I believe that. Oh, when my master uh, looked him right in the eye today, I believe Brother Paul, uh, he never saw nothing like this before. Uh, he didn't see no one was scared of him, uh, the son. Uh, my Listen, today somebody said, Well, I read one time where he walked through the fire. Yes, yes, he did. Oh, but he's still walking through the fire today. Listen, a friend, he's still in the valley. Somebody said, Well, listen, you better not let him go in there. He'll be burned up. No, 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 friend. Listen, they placed him in the house one time in a tomb. Uh, Someone said Jesus just went into a coma. But uh, when he died, no, no, brother Paul, he died. Uh, listen, uh, when he gave up the ghost, uh, he died. Uh, right there, they placed his body in uh, an empty house. Uh, uh, listen, that's why he said, uh, Oh, you tear this tabernacle down. Uh, listen, uh, uh, three days. Uh, 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 Brother Keaton, uh, he looked at him straight on. Uh, uh, listen, and that lunatic, he stopped in him. He stopped and looked at Jesus. Uh, uh, just like me, you would look at the day. Do you remember when you were lost? Uh, do you remember when that uh, your house was empty? Uh, do you remember when that uh, no one would come uh, about you? Uh, uh, yeah, you may say, preacher, uh, I had friends. Uh, uh, listen, but your friends couldn't comfort you, could they sit in? Your mother couldn't comfort you then. Listen, today. Oh, but when Jesus came and looked in the eye, listen, he brought comfort in here. Listen, listen, what happened? He looked at him, brother friend, and he said, Who are you? Jesus did. He said, We are Legion. That's how he said, We today. We are Legion. I mean, many. Listen, more. Today, evil spirits and was about this man. And somebody said, Do you all Baptists believe in exorcisms? And uh, listen, do you all Baptists believe in exorcisms? Well, uh, listen, today I might have opened a can of worms um, and I should open, but uh, let's see if we can go fishing with them. Uh, listen, oh, listen, I declare to you when Jesus came into my mind, he got an exorcism for the friend. He said, you're either for me or against me. Son, today, how can a man serve two masters? He can't do it, can he? He'll love the one and hate the other. Son, so then, who do you love today? A friend today. Somebody said, oh, I love God. Do you, do you love him? How do I have to love him, Jason? Son, oh, you'll have to love him with your whole so mind and string That's a lot of chat Listen, as I said Oh, I did last week But I forgot about it this week No, 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 no I didn't find it that way Listen, oh What Jesus done for me That causes me to love him More and more Listen, and hey And so 
somebody said, well, what happened to that little nerding? Listen, and Jesus looked at him and said, come out, come out today. And the evil spirits, they come out, did they not? Listen, somebody said, well, what happened to them? Where did they go? They went all into the swine, uh, the sun, and I guess swine or pigs, aren't they? Uh, the sun, and then somebody said, Well, that's why you shouldn't be in the pork. Uh, uh, listen today, let me tell you something, friend. They went into that swine there that was there. They didn't go into the generations of swine, just a little swine right there. Uh, and what did the swine do? This is what I love, my uh, uh, friend. Uh, listen, I'm trying to preach you in a hurry, too. I'm going to get out of your way, and uh, listen. Oh, Son, not even the swine wanted to have anything to do with these evil spirits. And that and the son, they didn't want nothing to do with me, brother Fred. Now, brother Fred, if you was to go out here in the field of cattle, and that the son, and if you was a woman today, and you was pregnant, you went out here in the field of cattle, and you would have that baby, and the cattle would eat just around you, and they would pay no attention to you, probably no doubt. They might even go farther away, and the son, but. Uh, uh, let me tell you how smart that uh, uh, listen, even the animals of the field are now. Oh, when Mary went there and laid down in the manger, and she gave birth right there that night. The Bible says even the cattle in the field and the oxen manger came around today. They knew something was different than they. Uh, listen, I'm going to tell you what, friend. No man's ever walked like this man. No man's ever spoke like this man. Oh, Legion, but here's the best part that I like. Oh, when you know a swine, when the evil spirits came out of him, oh, listen, they want he wanted to do something, didn't he, Brother Fred? What do you want to do? Uh, he wanted to follow Jesus, he wanted to follow him, but Jesus told him to do something, didn't he? Oh, go home and tell my friend uh, the good things that God done for you. Amen. Listen, go home. Uh, go home. Uh, somebody said, did that boy put on any clothes? The Bible don't say that he did. But listen, I'm talking naturally so, but yes. oh, I believe the greatest honor man that he could have ever had in his life. He went away that day on brother Henry. Jesus dressed him up that day. Told him to go home. Somebody said, did he grab any shoes? I believe he was like that black woman. No shoes or nothing today. I'm going home. Oh, listen today. If you have Jesus in your life, you won't look at the natural things. Now listen today. How many of you has ever, I'll never forget one time, I got so happy in a foot washing meeting, in a communion meeting, brother, that's bread, ever the tall. Oh, uh, listen, I felt so good when I came to myself. I was using my sock for the head king. Oh, uh, listen, today I'm going to tell you what, friend. Oh, uh, listen, today when Jesus carries you out and lets you look over her, He'll cause you. He'll cause you to forget about these things here. Amen. Is that not right? Yes, it is. Have you ever done that? How many here has ever done that? How many has ever just lost sight? Yes. Brother Fred, Brother Paul, I have there's been times that when it came down time that a brother said he had to sit down and close, I was so captivated in his preaching that it was just like I forgot where I was at other than listening to him. Now somebody said, well, you, you people claim it runs you crazy. No, it don't run you crazy. <laughs> if you was there, in your right mind, you're in it under the influence of God's Spirit. Is that not right? Oh, because listen, here's a man that said like you. And they said, Lord, don't go up there. He's a lunatic. Oh, but my Savior wasn't scared to go. He wasn't scared to go. Let me tell you something else. Somebody said, well, uh, listen, uh, does that prove how mighty of a God you serve? Well, I've got one greater than that. 
Would you believe that my Lord even walked a mountain one time with Satan himself? He walked away up, Brother Paul, on top of the mountain. Oh, and listen, Satan said, show them all of the kingdoms of the world. And said, I'll give them all to you if you just bow down to me. Oh, listen, what about that, Brother Creed? Oh, listen, oh, all the kingdom, every place pretty, you can have the son. Jesus owned it all anyhow. Of the son. And you know what Jesus said to him? Uh, somebody said, well, I don't know how to get Satan off my back. Uh, I don't know how to get him off my back. Uh, uh, listen, our Lord left uh, an example for everything. Of uh, the son, here's what he done. Oh, Satan, get behind me. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And you know what happened? You know what happened? But Jesus asked him a question, didn't he, Brother Paul? Yeah. Uh, son, uh, he asked him a question. Brother Fred, do you worry about your grandchildren? I'm going to tell you exactly uh, why you worry about your grandchildren. Uh, because what Jesus was told that day. Uh, what did the devil tell me, Brother Paul? Jesus looked at him and he said, What are you doing? What are you doing? And you know what he said? Uh, he said, I'm going up and down the earth seeking and devouring and this son, that's why, that's why when you have trouble, Satan's always on your back. Now listen today, uh, as somebody said, I can't wait to get into the church. Then all my troubles is over with. My friend will just be getting. they just be getting. Oh, Satan won't bother you too much when he's already got you. Now listen, but I'm going to tell you what. He is greater. Uh, this time, uh, uh, the, uh, the writer said like this. Uh, Jesus, when he spoke like this, he said, My Father, who is in heaven, is greater than all. Greater than all. That's uh, somebody said, uh, what else did he say? And he's able uh, to keep me. Uh, all these my Father has given me. Oh, and no man is able to put them out of his hands. Hey, right, brother. Listen what he said, and I'm going to close. Take your time, brother. He said, All oh, his son, I'm going up and down the earth, seeking and devouring who I may. And Jesus looked at him, and he said something to him, didn't he? Uh, somebody said, uh, uh, Did Jesus look at him and say, Why are you doing that? No, no, no. Uh, did Jesus look at him and say, Who are you going to go visit next? No, no. Oh, get behind me, Satan. Somebody said, what happened? This son, uh, he got behind him in him. Uh, listen, he fled away. Uh, listen, Dan. Uh, listen, Jesus walked on. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, here's a man that walked proudly the whole time that he walked here on earth. Even down to carrying the cross up Calvary's mountain. Uh, listen, and let me say this. Uh, somebody said, well, uh, preacher, uh, listen, uh, uh, how can we draw people? Uh, listen, we understand the Bible says, by my love and kindness have I drawn thee. Uh, listen, oh, listen, we'll do all that we can, huh? And to get people in the church. And somebody said, well, you don't have a right to ask people to join the church. And this time, I'm going to tell you what. I beg your pardon. And this time, why, why do you say that? The bride says, come. And this time, that whomsoever will, come in case of the water and life. And listen, if we've been born again, we're part of that bride. And this time, oh, listen today. Here's what. Said, he said, and if, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, and that whom, uh, listen, if I be lifted up, he said, I brought all men unto me. Amen. Amen. Is that not right? Can you amen that, Brother Henry? I said that one time in meeting says, and I said, can you amen that? And a man looked at me and shook his head no. And I said, well, I don't care. It's what the Bible said. And I said, and that's just the way it is. Oh, listen, if this book says it, Jason didn't write it, Paul didn't write it, Fred didn't write it, but the Lord God had a blessing to be wrote. Ah, uh, now, let us not be ignorant. 
Listen, somebody said, well, preacher, is everything written here in this book? No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, listen, today the Bible says, if all of the things of Christ are done, would have been written. Right. The books of this world couldn't hold them. Brother Keith, I don't know what all was left out. Nor is it any of my business. Somebody said, well, what was left out? I'm not on those scavenger hunt to try to find it. All that I know and believe, listen, is this. Listen, you get God in your life. Listen today. Uh, oh, friend, there's too many trying to figure out and analyze the situation of salvation. And it's so easy. The Bible says that it is so plain, the way is so plain, that even a fool can err therein. Now what about that? What about that? What university did you graduate from, Brother Henry, to obtain salvation? Didn't graduate from a one, did we? If we to graduating from the university to get salvation, there'd be very few going. But I'm going to tell you what. You've heard me say this before, uh, Sister Crystal, and you're going to hear me say it again. Listen today, uh, I can remember, they'll ask you, what's your religion? They'll ask you, what your denomination is, won't they? Yes, sir. They'll ask you that. They'll say, what's your religion? Well, this sounds well. And today, I don't know about you, you know, and a lot of people, the first thing they'll stand and say is Baptist. <laughs> first thing they'll stand and say is Methodist. Let me tell you something today, friend. Oh, you can have all the religion that you want. If you don't have salvation, you'll die and go to hell. Salvation is all God the Son. And the Bible said, in this day, a shall the song be sung. Salvation will God appoint for walls and boards. We have a strong city. A son, a strong city. A son, uh, uh, what city was he talking about? Oh, he said, ye are a city set on the hill uh, that cannot be hid. And we are that city. We are that city. The city of God. Sister Nancy. Somebody said, well, is it like the city of Lexington? It's getting bad. No, I didn't what I'm talking about. It's a different type of city. It's a city. It's a city that no other man has ever dreamed of being able to make. It's a city that no man can make with these hands. And it's within the hearts of his children. If you're here today and he brought a burden in, you can leave it. If you're here today and you brought a heartache in, you can leave it. If you're here today and you, you came in lost, you can go out saved. Somebody said, well, show me what, what I need to fill out, preacher. I want to do that. I'll tell you, Jason don't have no card for you to fill out. Jason don't have no application for you to fill out. And then when done, say it's accepted, you've got salvation. I wish it was that easy. But it's not that easy. You can write a day the sun and you might write in that time of writing out. Lord may come back and you go to hell. Uh, let me tell you something today, friend. If you go somewhere and the first thing they do is give you a card and it says uh, uh, we want 10% of your earnings, let me tell you something uh, today. Uh, uh, the Lexington Church uh, is just a little bit different. Uh, 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 Jason, what do you want? Uh, uh, what do you think that God wants the people? Uh, he just don't want 10%. Uh, oh, friend, but He wants 100%. Uh, 110 Is that all right? What do you mean of your money? I'm not talking about money. If it was for that, uh, uh, listen, Brother Fred, it's probably the only one that could get in. Uh, listen today, uh, uh, none of us can do that. Uh, listen, uh, oh, today, but listen today. I'll tell you what. Somebody said, I, I, I've got some money, but I can get it to him. Uh, listen, uh, it, it ain't worth a hill of ease. But I'm going to tell you what, he'll give you money. He'll give you gold, trying in the fire. Uh, listen, uh, it, it'll buy you a good time. For, uh, listen, Chad, uh, it'll buy you happiness. It'll buy you joy. It'll buy you peace. Uh, listen, uh, uh, where's it at, preacher? Is it that that you got on your hand? No, 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 no. Oh, what kind of a gold are you talking about? Uh, listen, oh! It's a gold listen that 
walked with the Hebrew children. It's the gold of the sun that cried out, My God, my God, has thou forsaken me? It's the gold that was tried of the sin and water. I was tried in the fire. Yes, and it went right through the sun. I want to tell you what. Today you get that gold and you can buy a lot with it. You can buy a lifetime of happiness. Now, Sister Gail, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want a fool one to think that every day of Jason's life here on this earth spent a bed of roses. Because if I tried to do that, Brother Henry, I'd just be fooling myself. Because it won't be. But I can tell you one thing that I know for sure, Brother Chad, that if you sit down, if you're a child of God, if you sit down, Brother Danny, and you think about all the bad times you've had in life, and how many of us ever do that? Do we ever get sorry for ourselves and think about poor me? Poor me. Boy, poor me just puts you right in the valley, won't it? Oh, the sun. Then I look around and I see what the Lord's brought me through. What about that? The sun. And I can tell you this. I never was all that real good at math. Listen today. Uh, some of the stuff Sarah brings home now. I couldn't tell you from the word go, what are you going to do with it? Now listen, bud, there's one thing, there's one mathematics that I'd get 100% in if I had to be tested on it. What is that? When I have to do up the score sheet of what comes out on top, the good times or the bad times. Let me tell you something about a friend. And Brother Paul, listen, just one minute in him has been worth it all. Because it stands to have eternity. Amen. Now, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take this much time. I want Brother Paul to come. And, and I want to say like this to you, friend. If you're here today and you seek a better land, then you can find it. Heaven is just one heartbeat away. Heaven, Sister Punky, is just, just right out there from us. Somebody said, well, preacher, I, I've got things I've got to do first and then I'd like to go. Well, we all have things we've got to do. We've all got things that we want to do. Nature-wise, we don't want to leave, Brother Paul. Nature-wise, you'd like to see your grandsons grow up. Nature-wise, you'd like to see just a few more days here. You'd like to retire and enjoy a few days and not having to get up and go to work. Is that not right today? Brother Keith, you'd like to see some days that you don't have to drive that old work truck around much more. Sister Leah, would like to see some days she didn't have to stand in the courtroom and argue with people. And you know, that's just the way it is. We'd all like to just to see a few more days of goodness and happiness here. There's happiness here. This world ain't all that bad. Now, brother, we all, we've got to be careful now. This world ain't all that bad. It's all the world I've ever had to live in. It's what you make of it. And, 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 and you know, but I'll say this. I know of a better place. Yeah. I know of a better time. I know of a better time that we'll come here. And we will not part no more. Somebody said, you mean here at this church? No. This church is going to crumble someday. This church is going to burn down just like any other building. By the fire that comes down from God out of heaven. But the church will be taken up. The church will be taken up. Can you believe that today? Somebody said, well, now I don't know if we're going to get up or not. Now, I don't know if we're going to, if there's going to be a day that Christ is coming back. Let me tell you something, God, Paul. If you don't believe that, then you're not going. I can tell you that. You have to believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that do diligently seek Him. And friend, if my hope was only in this life only, I'd be so miserable. I'd give most men miserable, Brother Paul. But my hope's not in this world only. Now listen, I love Charlene and Sarah. Now listen today. And let me tell you something. When Jesus blows the trumpet in the morning of the day and the voice of the Lord says, Come on, I'm not going to be looking to see if they're there with me. That sounds cold. It sounds cold, naturally so. But I'm going to tell you something, friend. It's the truth. 